Okay, guys, so I showed up to this unit. It's a train. It's a good unit. But this homeowner was having issues with the heat mode. So I came out. It had four flashes in the hard lockout. Or four flashes means hard lockout, which is what it had. And it says cleared with power cycle. So I did. Everything was working good. The charge was okay. The pressure pressure seemed to be okay um, actually they were okay they weren't they didn't seem they were okay uh, all my amps were good my split was good but a kind of a, a a funny thing happened when I came over here and I'm familiar with these systems so uh, and this is only a two-year-old system so when I came over here and I started messing with the settings to see if it was set up right because everything was working right. So it made me feel like something was wrong on the setup. I went to configuration menu. Everything was right. So I came down to the heat and I changed it up to see if it would increase and it did, which by the way, let me decrease it now to 400. There, it's on 400 but i know that when you go to turn it off or continue it with the going down if it's going to say cda communication error which means it's re it's now saving the settings so it's going to do this it shuts off okay it shuts off and this thing now that it's working right it did shut off okay but before it was running and running and running and that is on my pressures it just made my you know my high pressure skyrocket okay and then it shut off when i had pressure after about 30 seconds maybe maybe a minute max so what the problem was and i've seen a lot of guys do this a lot of guys don't know that train is a little different when they do their wiring. So, if you come here to the service facts, which I was lucky enough to have here, they were left on site, so that's good. If you go to the settings where it says one or two stage heat pump with TAM9 variable speed air handler, you need to notice that it says R to R, B to B across O to O, but here's what they did wrong. When they went from comfort control to indoor unit, that's it. It's just those two together. Like I have them right here now, okay? I have them right here now. They had them also with the outdoor unit, like a typical Goodman, pretty much almost all manufacturers that I've seen are, do that. They do comfort control with the indoor unit, with the outdoor unit all together train does not do that they want y out which is this black with yellow wire okay connected with the y1 of the outdoor unit okay so very very important to know that that install a part is different now that i did it correctly like it has it comfort control to Y1 at the indoor unit, which is there, and then Y out, which is this one, to the outdoor unit. And now it shut off. Now it's not going to go off on high head pressure. So, interesting fact that people who do not install a train should know. Okay. Well, that is that. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe.